Now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to name in Melbourne tonight's Footballer of the Week. Yes, it's Mr. Football himself. It's Footscray's captain, Ted Whitten, one of the greatest footballers of our time. He used to take me into the TV shows that he used to do and introduce me to all these uh, famous people, uh, which was terrific. 1972, exciting, rough, spectacular, unpredictable. And you've seen it all right here through the magic of television. From nobody else. Winning the marathon for league players. The first coach to finish as well as a player. I know he's a little bit tired, but Tuddy, enormous effort. How do you feel, pal? Oh, very tired, Teddy. Yeah, you look pretty tired. He was on television on, on shows like uh, Football Inquest, um, Wild Water Sport, uh, you know, at the finished uh, you know, Channel 9's sports shows. Uh, so it was just a fantastic interest from his point of view. Can you imagine Barassi or Tom oh. Jamie doing that? Barassi, running around the corridors with no clothes on? He's Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking on my door. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't open unless he called me Mr. Football. <laughs> I did tell you it was a brand new football program. <laughs> oh, gee, he's pretty good, that guy. Well, Richmond are trying to win. <laughs> you may remember last week we played this rather alarming ad. Yeah. Hey, fellas, Motorola is one tough phone. And who's the toughest on prices? Communication brokers. Victoria's biggest Motorola dealers because they mean a business. Hello. That's that same question he asked last week. What's yeah. that? About the excitement of a grand final, Teddy. <laughs> oh, that's, you're right. I know, all I said was they get a bit horny before the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you feeling tonight, Ted? I mean, it is on the eve. Well, I'm not playing. Those guys are. But I bet you, Sam, you wouldn't have told them to get out of the room, would you? <laughs> <laughs> grand final or not. And North Melbourne play Sydney at the Sydney Cricket Ground, and North Melbourne are the only side uh, that Sydney have never beaten in Sydney. And to preview the match, Bobby Skilton. No doubt the uh, North Melbourne selectors, Ted, uh, remembered last year's game in Sydney because they brought back Jason Loving to the side, who kicked six goals in the second half of the game. Did you break his nose the second game he played? He broke my nose uh, in the first year I played. He backhanded me. I went to grab him, just threw his arm back. Quite and accidental. Squack. Quite accidental. <laughs> yes, Squack. And it, uh, it was a soft nose, too. <laughs> It didn't take much breaking. <laughs> of course, you were an expert at it, Ted. You no, had the old no. knuckles honed up by then. Well, it took time. It took time to uh, to, to define it, you know, down you to a mark. Want, but it was very good at times. Uh, wouldn't want to try it now. I'd... Of course you would. <laughs> I'm known as Cool Rock and Teddy. <laughs> Miguel, uh, do you have any questions for Ted about Gary Ablett? Who is this wagger? No, <laughs> 